So what does mastering your audio actually mean? How do you do it in Premiere Pro? And what does it actually do to your soundtrack? That's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Thank you Artlist for sponsoring. I'll tell you more about their music for video later on in the video. For now, let's go ahead and jump on in. So mastering is the final step of sound editing and mixing. It just takes all of the elements of your soundtrack, puts them together and makes sure it sounds good. According to Matt Forger, who is the music producer for Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones, he said that mastering is what gives depth punch, clarity, as well as volume to your final track. Mastering, however, isn't gonna get rid of any background noise in your video or any clicks and pops. That's going to be sound editing. And if you wanna learn how to do that, you can click up here to watch. So in most video editing programs, the mastering takes place on one audio track, the master track. To open up your audio track mixer, go up to window and go to audio track mixer and select the accordion sequence. The accordion, the accordion sequence. And now you can see we have all these controls for each audio track in our timeline. And the last one here is called the mix. And that's the one that we're going to apply the mastering effect to. So up in the upper left, there's this tiny little carrot here and you need to actually click on this to show the effects. It's such a tiny little thing, but that's the key to opening the effects here. Then from the mix soundtrack, the last one, from the dropdown, select the effect selection and from special, you're gonna go to mastering. And then we need to make some changes. So you actually need to double click on the effect first and we're not going to use the default but there's some pretty cool presets in here for example there's the dream sequence so if i play my track here it'll make it sound like it's kind of in a you know dream sequence in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a rapid photo shuffle effect so obviously we don't want to use this for this particular video there's also a warm concert hall as this nice concert hall reverb in today's video i'm going to show you how to create a rapid photo shuffle effect you can use the mastering effect for some special effects as well in this case all we want to use is subtle clarity. Remember what Matt Forger said, to bring some clarity and some punch to your audio, use subtle clarity. Now, reverb, you can adjust this depending on what you need, but 20% is a little high for what I like. I'm gonna reduce this down to around 5%. And also I like to adjust the output gain. For your final mix, you want it to be between minus six and minus 12 decibels on average. So it might be a little bit more or a little bit less. So if you notice in your audio meters, if it's a little bit low, you can actually use the output gain to add some decibels. So let's say let's add 1.5 decibels and then let's go ahead and bring this down and play it back with the effect on. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a rapid photo shuffle effect so that way you can start using it in your own videos. And this is what it sounded like without it. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a rapid photo shuffle effect. So it's really that simple. It just added a little bit more presence, clarity and punch to the entire mix, which will start making your videos just sound overall better. So if this audio tip helps you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe. And also on August 24th, I'm hosting a live YouTube editing workshop with Nas Academy. It's completely free. You can use my link below to go ahead and sign up for that to reserve your spot. So if you're looking for some tricks to help you improve your viewer retention on YouTube, you should definitely sign up. Also, thanks to Artlist for sponsoring today's video. Using my link below, you can get two extra months free of unlimited music and sound effects when you sign up for one of their plans. And Artlist has some of the catchiest music music for YouTubers. And the best part is, is that the music is royalty free and the licensing is simple. You can use the music on any type of platform from film festivals, YouTube, social media, broadcast TV, podcast games, anything that you can think of, it covers it. And it's worldwide coverage as well. And here are a couple of cool highlights. When you go to the Artlist page, you can click on start free now, and this will allow you to download watermarked versions of the songs and sound effects so you can start using it in your video to test out before you actually get the plan and you can start creating playlists and organizing the music and sound effects that you love. And another really cool feature, once you're browsing for music and you find a track that you like, for example, this one, you can click right over here to search for similar songs. You can also favorite these. You can also click on the ellipsis here to add and create collections. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment below. If you want to learn more audio tips, you can click right over here and you can click over here to check out my store with lots of cool templates and presets for creators. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Boop.